The roar of my motorcycle still echoes in my ears as I ride along the legendary Route 66. I've always been passionate about motorcycles, and today is one of those perfect days. The sky is blue without a cloud in sight, and the warm desert wind caresses my face. The feeling of freedom I experience every time I ride is priceless, an antidote to the frenzy of everyday life. It's about three in the afternoon, and the road is almost deserted. I decide to increase my speed a bit, enjoying every curve and straight away. Route 66 has a particular charm, a sort of magic that transports those who travel it to another era. I imagine the old diners, the abandoned gas stations, and the stories of those who traveled this road before me. Suddenly, on the horizon, I notice a truck swerving. My mind goes into a state of alert, but it's too late to avoid the impact. The truck loses control and hits me head on. Everything happens in an instant. I only remember a terrible sound of metal crashing, my body flying through the air, and then darkness. When I open my eyes, I find myself suspended in midair, looking at my body lying on the asphalt. It's a surreal scene. I see the blood flowing from the wounds, my motorcycle reduced to a pile of wreckage. Yet, I feel no pain. It's as if I am an external observer, detached from everything. A warm, intense light begins to envelop me, drawing me towards it. I feel at peace, serene, like never before. The light becomes more and more intense until I find myself in a completely different place. An enchanted garden, with flowers of every color and plants I've never seen before. I walk through this garden, feeling a reassuring presence next to me. I turn and see a man with a kind and loving face. I immediately understand who he is. Jesus. His gaze is penetrating, yet at the same time sweet. No words are needed to communicate. I feel that he knows everything about me, my life, my hopes, and my fears. Jesus takes my hand and guides me through the garden. Every step we take together fills me with a sense of pure happiness. We arrive in front of a wonderful house, a villa surrounded by lush trees, and a meticulously maintained garden. It's the most beautiful house I've ever seen, yet there's something familiar about it, as if it were built just for me. This is your home, says Jesus with a voice that resonates like a melody. Here you will find peace and eternal joy. He invites me to enter, and every room is a masterpiece. Natural light floods the spaces, the furniture is elegant yet cozy, and from the windows, one can admire a breathtaking landscape. I feel overwhelmed by the beauty and serenity of this place. As I explore the house, I realize that every detail seems thought out for me. There are books I've always wanted to read, musical instruments I've dreamed of playing, and even a corner dedicated to painting, a hobby I've always wanted to pursue, but never had the time to explore. Suddenly, a door opens by itself and I am drawn to a particular room. Inside there are photographs and objects that tell the story of my life on Earth, my first day of school, my wedding, the birth of my children. Every image is a precious memory, and I feel a deep connection with all the people I have loved and who have loved me. In a corner of the room, I see an old guitar. It's the same one I had as a boy, the one I used to play songs for my friends on summer nights. I pick up the guitar, and as if by magic I start playing a melody I didn't remember knowing. The notes flow naturally, and I feel in harmony with everything around me. Jesus watches me with a smile, and I understand that this is his way of showing me that paradise is not just a place of peace, but also of personal fulfillment and growth. Here I can be everything I've always wanted to be, without limits or fears. Suddenly, I hear a distant voice calling me. It's a familiar voice, my wife's voice. I wake up in a hospital bed surrounded by doctors and nurses. The pain returns, but it's mitigated by the awareness of what I have experienced. My family 
is there, with eyes full of tears and hope. I tell them about my experience, and I see a mixture of disbelief and relief in their faces. They know that I'm no longer the same man. My vision of the world has changed, as has my perception of life and death. Now I know that something wonderful awaits us, something we need not fear. The following days are difficult, but I recover slowly. Every time I close my eyes, I can relive those moments of peace in the enchanted garden. I cling to that feeling, using it as strength to face daily challenges. My experience has profoundly changed me. I've realized that life is precious and that every moment should be lived to the fullest. I decide to spend more time with my family, to cultivate my passions, and to help others find their way. My faith has strengthened, and I find comfort in prayer. I often speak of my experience, sharing it with anyone who wants to listen. Not everyone believes my story, but many find comfort in my words and in my certainty that paradise exists. I continue to travel the road of life with a new sense of purpose and serenity. I know that one day, when the time comes, I will return to that enchanted garden, to that wonderful house, and be welcomed by Jesus with the same loving smile. My near-death experience showed me that death is not the end, but the beginning of a new chapter. The house in paradise that Jesus showed me is a symbol of hope and promise. Every day that passes, I live with gratitude, knowing that there is a place of peace and love that awaits me. Route 66 remains an important part of my life, but now I see it with different eyes. Every journey is an opportunity to reflect, to appreciate the beauty of the world, and to prepare for the day I will return to that heavenly home. This is my story, a story of hope, love, and faith, and I hope it can inspire anyone who reads it to live their own life with joy and awareness, knowing that something wonderful awaits us beyond this earthly existence.